wind is absolutely dead today and it's it's predicted to be that for the next week and a half or so when i was flying for work earlier today i could see plenty of of current lines and debris floating in the water the wind's picked up a little bit now but i'm still going to give it a try unless the the wind does something crazy in the morning Uh, just looking out there and I can see that it's raining, so I've got um, baggies on all the cameras. Um, when the wind is super down like this, you can just expect that the rain's going to kind of hang out longer. Uh, mostly looks like light mist. I'll check the radar. It doesn't look like there's very much behind it. I'm leaving the spot where I caught the bait, um, 90 feet right now. I'm still gonna look for more on the way kind of out, uh, but I've got three baits. One has kind of a torn mouth, so we'll be careful there. Uh, it is raining kind of around me. It's raining on the island. It's raining out there. It's clear to the east, um, but I'm gonna head kind of west out here. I'm gonna try and find some of the current lines and or floating debris. I'm in 500 feet right now. I've got that live bait out. Just cruising, um, but I dropped my jig down. Something, I was working something at 50 feet. Um, didn't hook up, but I'm just gonna see how, see if I can get this to the bottom. I don't know that I have 500 feet of line on this reel though, so I'm gonna try and be careful. I didn't hit the bottom and I'm pretty much out of line so that's a no-go but now I gotta reel it up uh. drifting and drifting it's now 930 so two hours after I was done catching bait no action um, I'm drifting through 300 feet up onto the ledge now. It's kind of a go way, out, go way out there and try and catch something good. I found plenty of trash floating, some nets, uh, a basket. Didn't seem like any mahi-mahi were around. hooked up in like 300. No idea what it is yet. It's also way out down there. Probably just a co cover or something. Whatever it is, it hasn't taken. No, well, there's at least something. Oh. 
I don't want to get tangled in that that line. Whatever this is, it's pretty small. Some kind of tuna, I'd say. It's feeling a little bigger now. Pretty sure this is the elephant tuna. Focus on the fish, who cares if you get tangled? Focus on the fish. Does not want to come up. actually fight the fish. <sighs> Getting a workout. There's my leader. I does not want to come in. It's a yellowfin tuna, all right. Yeah. <laughs> 
good sized fish, almost 30 pounds. The first five minutes of the fight, I don't even know that this guy knew he was hooked. <clears throat> Swallow the hook. Go figure. Yeah. Yeah. Nice fish. Awesome. Just an update to how things are going. It's 10, 16 now. Um, the rain's held off for about the last hour, which was nice for uh, filming that yellowfin tuna, the shibi. Um, there is still, you can see, still see the rain cells out there. They're pretty, they're moving really slow because there's not a ton of wind. Just mark something down at like 1.30. So I might as well drop the jig on it. Maybe something at 50 there too. sure my bait is still alive. I kind of wish you would just get eaten. Not by a shark. Whatever it is, it's pretty big. I saw the bait fly out of the water. Maybe it's a giant aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's a big aha. Uh -huh. Big needlefish. That might be the biggest aha I've ever caught. 
I caught one off the, the Mokes, the Mokalua Islands over there, probably around a year ago now that was almost as big as this. This one looks fatter though. This guy's been eating good. Fucking bite me, I'm gonna be so mad. huge actually pretty cool I normally hate aha uh, that's the Hawaiian name for a needlefish but uh, that guy is super cool really bright vivid colors hopefully I got some good pictures um, but I'll post them on Instagram if you guys aren't already following me you can check me out flyingfish underscore TV um, but he swam off just fine uh, it definitely ran kind of like a, a wahoo you know for maybe two or three seconds but still kind of fun but I'm gonna head out into deeper water now I've got this ballyhoo that I just rigged up so we'll go back out and then we'll use that last live bait and then probably head in Gamagatsu live bait hook, a loop knot on there. And this 3 is actually the perfect size for this bait. It's so tiny. But just let him go. Feels pretty heavy. I wonder if it's a shark. This feels like dead weight. Oh, that feels a lot like a shark. It's only 30 pounds, so I don't want to tighten this down too much. I probably have it too tight already. It's not the bottom. At least know that. There we go. Popped off. That was a shark. 